All right, number three. Lengthwise, a jacket sleeve should. Yeah, I know this may be another guess. Stop at your wrist. Clear the top of your hand. Clear the top of your hand. Okay. This is actually. Yeah. yeah. When you go like this, you should clear your wrist. It's actually a medical term, so it's, it's actually a, a little ambiguous, but clear the top of your hand means when you have a jacket and, you're on and your hands are at your side, it should clear the top of your hand, which is right here, come to like the top of the gummy part between your thumb and, um, so that doesn't mean, of course, that you, it doesn't mean that you can't, oh, yeah, I know, it's, some, some of these are, again, yeah, sorry. It's not this row where you reach out in front, it's only to the side. It's when your hands are at your side when you have the jacket on, when you first try it on in a store and figure it out if it fits. And that's because it should clear the top of your hand here, whereas with men, the fit rules are different. It should break at the wrist because we want to see a man's shirt sleeve underneath it. For women, it's a little bit longer because we're mm -hmm. not going to see your sleeve shirt. And also that's because then when you're reaching forward, driving on the phone, typing, then it starts to crease off and then it's kind of at the quote unquote correct length. So it is a little bit longer. Um, doesn't mean of course that you can't do like a three quarter length sleeve jacket or anything shorter, but <coughs> that is the fit rule for just regular jackets. Um, okay, number four, this de designer label FUBU stands for? For Sparks. Yay, what is it? Good dog. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 if I don't hear that, I did. I did. I did. I For us. Wow. But I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I have a few surprises in me. How did you know that? Can I ask how you know that? Or you just told me? has a, a teenage son or a daughter in high school and their friends are wearing it. It was started by a group of African Americans in the Bronx and they just wanted a clothing label that was their sense of style designed for them. Um, it did run into somebody who they did the tuxes at their wedding, so obviously they branched out, but you'll see it on the back of coats and the back of jeans. So just kind of a little fun, fun trivia to throw out there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, number five, blank is a tailoring term for the meeting point of the lapel and buttons on a jacket. Clinton uses this word all the time and what not to wear whenever he can. He throws it out there. I put shank. I did too. The other one. Stance? Stance. Yeah. Lucky guess. No, I didn't say it. I did too. Stance. Okay. okay. So, and Clinton says it all the time too? He says it all the time because, especially when they're working with, uh, get your stance up, but um, when, he, when they're working with women who have a larger bust, he tells them to look for a higher stance because it's going to lock and load the girls. And so that means that a higher stance, so it's the medium point of lapels and buttons on a jacket. So this jacket actually has a medium stance. A higher stance would be one up here. So if you are busty, you're looking for a higher stance so that the girls are encased and held in. If you get it to be too much lower, then the jacket's going to pull. And it, in essence, it's not going to fit. It's not going to look right. It's actually going to be sloppy and add pounds when it's pulling. So a higher stance, <coughs> if you have a larger bust, this is a medium stance on this jacket. If this was the first button, this would be a low stance. If you're petite, which is anybody who's 5'4 and under, it just means height-wise, doesn't mean anything else of sizes, you really want to look for something with a higher stance. That's because then you start the line of the body sooner. Mm. So um, if you're a little bit taller or you know of average height, you can pull off medium or, or, or low, that's fine too. A nice lower stance does create a nice V and, and open up the face and the draw, draw attention that way. So just kind of something to look for. Everything else on that list um, has to do with the shoe. So down here, this is a vamp. Um, so if you have a lower vamp, you're showing a little bit of toe cleavage. A higher vamp, not so much. Um, you don't have to show toe cleavage. It doesn't. But the point is that if, if you have a lower vamp, especially in a high heel shoe, when when your foot is, is raised, is elevated, then we see, even though it's foot that we're seeing and, and this skin, we get to see more, it lengthens the line of the leg because mm. the vamp is lower versus then slowly starting to you know, cut up the foot. Um, everything else in there, again, deals with the shoe. This is a quarter back here, and then this is a shank. This is what holds the bulk of your weight in here. So if you go to Nordstrom's trying to choose, and be like, oh, I like this, it has a lower vamp, and they'll think, you know, what you're talking about. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's something fun. 